Uh, Meera Kumar ji, uh, Narendra Jadav says that these carcasses... Ma'am, I'm coming to you just, only. Uh, just, one, one, yeah. one com just one observation I want to make. Yes. I don't want a uh, lengthy uh, debate. I, I just, you know, they, they, we, we all of us, I mean, I have no the same exception. Uh, we just use the term upper caste and lower caste, uchi jati, nichi jati, mm. which I think we should discard. Yeah. Uh, you see, it, it has a certain connotation of superiority yes. and inferiority. Yes. So if we can uh, avoid, I think it will be good because it hurts to hear that. Agreed, agreed. I think, I think it's used as identifiers yes. or markers, but we have to find yes, a different yes. language. I mean, uh, I agree with yes, you. Yes, people... Uh, yes, yes. I agree with that you. Ma'am, could you, could you talk out. about the powerful, how you see the image? And I want to bring up this image again because really I think we haven't seen this kind of protest before. The fact that carcasses are being left outside government offices uh, in, a, as a language of protest. Meera Kumar, how significant is this particular visual idiom of Barkhaji, protest? Barkhaji, Barkhaji, Barkhaji. Uh, I underline the G. No, please Barkhaji. don't, ma'am. Just call me Barkha, uh, but please make your point. Uh, yes, please. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, Barkhaji. Uh, well, I want to say a few things about the leather industry. It's one of the, it's uh, the oldest craft in our country, the oldest profession. And a particular caste has been designated to, to carry, carry yes. it forward. Yes. yes. And... They are called the chamars or yes. charmkars. Now their job is not to kill the cow, but when the cow is dead, to skin mm -hmm. it and to prepare the hide. Yes. Now leather is something which is used by everyone. Absolutely. A, if they may hate and they may not like to touch the workers who are working in the leather industry, but everybody without Wears exception leather. uses Absolutely. leather. I agree. Those who came, those who, who came to uh, beat and torture those boys who were skinning the ca dead cow, they didn't come wearing kharao, they came wearing leather shoes. Yeah. So leather is not untouchable, but leather workers are untouchable. Absolutely. And That's let me tell you another thing. Yes. I, 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 I want to point out another thing, that the, uh, the Dalits, the, the Charmakars, or other uh, uh, Dalits engaged in other professions, the scheduled caste, they are the most devout Hindus. Temple doors are closed for them. They are tortured. No, nobody wants to even touch their shadow and yet they with determination want to be called Hindus. Now they are, they are uh, from within they are Hindus so to accuse them, falsely being anti -Hindu. accuse them. Yes. Uh, I, 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 no, I agree with everyone killing you said. The cow. I of killing the cow. It is a conspiracy against them and to torture them insult I, them, demoralize them. I agree, ma'am. I am totally agree. I, it's I, very I, disturbing. Absolutely. It's very disturbing. I just going to give 30 seconds to Pavan and, and Nalin to wrap this up for us. Pavan, go ahead and then Nalin can take the last word. Pavan, very quickly, I'm out of time, please. I, I, I just want to say that I think this is a time for the BJP to do a little bit of introspection rather than be combating with comparative statistics or to trace what had happened in the past. The Dalits have been at the receiving end, Barkha, of our political evolution and their political empowerment is one of the greatest achievements of India. But if we see them merely as either vote banks or as tokenisms or trophies to be used, yes. I'm afraid it's not going to work. Yeah. Nalin, quickly, the, you know, you can talk about Rahul Gandhi snoozing, definitely an embarrassing image for the Congress. You can c come up with those counter statistics, but at the moment, the perception is that these, this is an uprising pushing you on the back foot. Very quickly, no, wrap this up. I'll reject it. I think uh, Meera Kumarji had some important points to make. And as Indian citizens, each one of us here, we uh, certainly are not going to accept, you know, this kind of thing happening. There's no question about it. As far as the political points are there, that debate, I think, has ended a few minutes earlier than that. Let's not reignite that because it really takes away from the substance. 
whether I, I mean what she spoke about the leather industry certainly do these cow vigilantes have to be uh, they don't it has to be conveyed to them that they cannot take the law to their own hand well, why are they so it, emboldened no i'll put this irrespective you have a sense with a cow vigilante i have a sense of power vigilante i have a sense of another kind nobody has a right to vigilante whether it's against a lady you have people going out on la this ladies you may have somebody else going out and flocking their power which we see in different states so okay. let's not go down any kind of vigilante is not acceptable okay. because we have to stand by the constitutional I, I, position. I, I will leave it there with saying that it is a national shame and really questions our self-image as a nation that we are not able to protect our own people. And I think Meera Kumar is absolutely right in saying that the sheer hypocrisy of a society where everybody wears leather, <coughs> uh, but we actually shun those who work in the leather industry and now we assault them and beat them up. And I think the symbolism of that protest, as Narendra Jadav said, is much needed. Barkha, Barkha, I want to suggest one thing. If, if everyone is really sincere about removing uh, caste systems, give my seconds, then Barkha. give up your son names. Please give up your son names. W would you be able to do that? Narendra would you Jadav, be able to give up your son names? That's a thought. Names? That's a thought. Will you the be able to give up your son names? Yes. Will you be able, to give, up be able to give up your son names? But tell me if that 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 shows your caste. That yeah. shows that you still carry caste in your mind. Okay, I do have to heart. end, Mr. Will Jadav. You, you wanted one comment, sir. Sir, Ka I do have to uh, end very yeah, quick. I, I, last I want words, my, my share yes, of thirty seconds. Yes, I want my share I'm of thirty saying. seconds yes. to wrap up. Yes, please. Just please two do. small points Thank I want you. to make very quickly. Uh, first of all, all Dalits are not Hindus. To call all Dalits Hindus is to deny the historical conversion that took place in October of 1956 when Dr. Ambedkar laid more than 500,000 people from Hinduism to, to Buddhism. Buddhism. Yes. One. And yes. second, in this dastardly and most despicable incident, most stringent action must be taken and an example should be made out and a yes. proper signal should be sent uh, to the community. Meera Kumar leaves us. Over. Yes, Meera Kumar leaves us with the thought that our very names carry the discrimination of caste. We lots to think about. Nalin Kohli, Meera like Kumar. Kumar now just. Okay, I will bring all of you back tomorrow. Maybe we can uh, continue this conversation. I response. Nahi mila hai, Madam, I don't even know my caste. I mean, I'm actually blunt about it. Now, Kohli, as my surname is, Kohli, as my surname is, I inherited it. So, therefore, there's an assumption that we are using our caste, which is not a correct assumption. Okay, I do have to end in today. Now, we will continue the debate tomorrow. But you might, I mean, I don't mind. You have given us something to, very, very important to talk about, but we will talk about it tomorrow. We're thanking you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, all of you. Bilkul ma'am, Meera Kumar, Pavan Varma, Nalin Kohli and Narendra Jadav, thank you so much. We will bring you all back as we continue our focus on that Dalit uprising in Gujarat. Thank you so much.